kind of kid Dan is and how much this meant to him personally and all the other guys on the team. And, uh, uh, I was pretty confident we'd find a way to make the plays. And, uh, Dan just got in it out uh, tonight um, and showed what kind of player he is, how tough he is, as well as how talented. But uh, really, it was a team effort. Um, you know, we've really been working hard defensively the last three days in practice to prepare for what I thought was the best offensive team that we had played or, or would have had to play during the season. And uh, we played some pretty decent ones, but uh, tonight we were able to contain them and uh, hold them to 36. They came in averaging about exactly the same as us, about 64. But uh, but uh, our, our guys just really locked down and played great defense uh, all night long. So just very proud of them and uh, excited to be moving back to the uh, districts once again. Were you disappointed with how you handled pressure in the third and early fourth? Um, well, I want to credit uh, Waynesville for that because you know they uh, they came out of the locker room with a lot of uh, fire, knowing that their season was on the line. Uh, probably just leaving the hallway if we have to get out of the locker room. Um, so I want to credit them. They, they forced some of that and uh, unfortunately we had a uh, case of a little bit of tired legs at that point and uh, so you saw us subbing uh, a lot more than what we typically do. Uh, in fact on Monday night Daniel never left the floor. Dan Hickman uh, tonight we, we probably had him in and out six, eight times because we were just trying to uh, get enough water in, keep him, keep him fresh. Aaron Mitchell did a great job for us uh, filling in at the point. Uh, he's a, a real uh, flexible and uh, you know, team type player um, to be able to go from the post to the wing to the point all on the same night, and uh, he's done that uh, for us uh, several times. And uh, tonight he stepped up for us.